Howdy. Ever wonder how a truck gets up a hill or a bolt gets unstuck? You might see it as a specification in your owner's manual in your glove box or while watching a car commercial. Any guesses? Torque. Put simply, torque is a measurement of rotational leverage around a pivot point. Let's get some examples. So, here we have a 1.3 foot breaker bar, or about a 0.41 meter breaker bar. I weigh 150 pounds, 667 newtons. Let's use newtons and meters in this case as our units because I think they sound way more scientific. Using this lug nut as our pivot point, I'm gonna exert my weight, my force, on the end of this breaker bar. I just exerted 273 newton meters of torque. How do I know I did that? Well, T equals F times D. Torque equals force times distance. What was my force? My force was my weight, 667 newtons. The distance was the distance from the pivot point to where the force was applied. And that was 0.41 meters. So altogether, you multiply those two numbers and we get 273 newton meters of torque. Next up, let's look into torque's most crucial characteristic, its ability to be easily manipulated. Let's go find a door. So here we have our door. First step, let's make sure it's not latched. For this example, our pivot point is gonna be the hinges on the other side of the door. First time through, let's have a very short distance between the pivot point and the point we're exerting the force. Second time, let's have a very long distance between the pivot point and the point that we're exerting the force. That was a lot easier. Why? I didn't get any stronger. When you increase the distance between the point that you're exerting the force and the pivot point, you give yourself a mechanical advantage. You get more torque. In the last two examples, I've been acting as the prime mover. The prime mover being anything animate or inanimate that applies the initial force. Another way to manipulate torque is through gearing, using different gear ratios to multiply or divide torque. So here we have a small input gear and a larger output gear. The diameter of the input is exactly one half that of the output. Thus, we have a two to one ratio. So after two revolutions of the input, the output would only revolve once. This would double our torque, but cut in half the revolutions per minute of the output. Holding speed constant, as you increase lever length or gear ratio, you sacrifice time. Reversing the input and output would reverse the torque and RPM results. Torque is the fundamental unit of rotational leverage. When manipulated correctly, it can be used to the advantage of any prime mover. Myself, my truck engine, or an astronaut in the International Space Station. Wherever we go, back to the moon, Mars, or beyond, the fundamental principles like torque will continue to be the foundation of our future. Thanks for watching.